to cover uh, conjugation, plasmids, and transposons. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Lili Chivedi, and today I'm going to present to you a lecture on BSc Honors Agriculture Microbiology. Subject is Agriculture Microbiology, and the session is Bacterial Genetics. Now, this lecture is for the students of second semester BSc Agriculture Honors. In this today's lecture, we are going to cover the topics of conjugation, plasmid, and transposome. Bacterial conjugation is by way in which the cells transfer genetic materials to another bacterial cell and the genetic material is then transferred through bacterial conjugation with a small plasmid which is known as the F or the plasmid or fertility factor. The word F is for the fertility factor and now this plasmid or the fertility factor carries a genetic information which is different from what is already present in the bacterial chromosome, which is going to inquire it. In fact, the F plasmid can replicate in cytoplasm separately from the bacterial chromosome. And that is why it is called an extra chromosomal genetic material. Now, the first person to give this was J. Lederberg and E. Tatton. They demonstrated that the transfer of genes between the bacteria that depends on direct cell to cell contact is mediated by an F pilus, which is a unidirectional DNA transfer from donor to recipient. The bacterial conjugation steps are in order to transfer the F plasmid, a donor cell and a recipient cell must be there. They should establish a contact. At this point, when the cell establishes contact, the F plasmid in the donor cell is a double stranded DNA molecule, which opens up to form a circular structure. Now, the following steps are there for the transfer of F plasmid from one bacterial to another. An F plus donor cell contains a chromosomal DNA and an F plasmid. It has a rod-like pilus and the F negative cell has only a chromosome and no F plasmid. So the positive will have the pilus and the negative F yeah, fertility factor cell will have no plasmid. The donor cell will use the plasmid to attach to the recipient cell and a single strand of the F plasmid is fed through this plus pilus. Both the cells now have F plasmid and are converted to F positive or they are both having the fertility factor and now the new donor cell can also form the pilus. Here you can see a diagram in which you can see the circular fertility factor. Now this is again um, it is forming the pilus tube and uh, joining to the F negative and here is the transfer of the genetic material. Now both the uh, bacterial cells have a phylus formed so both are F positive. Because the F plasmid consists of a double stranded DNA molecule forming a stru circular structure, it is attached on the both the ends and an enzyme relaxes or relaxosome with, when it forms with the other protein, mix one of the two DNA strands of the F plasmid, and this strand is called the T strand. And now this T strand is transferred to the recipient cell. As you have seen in the last step, the donor cell and the recipient cell both contain single stranded DNA and replicate this DNA to have the double stranded F plasmid structure 
original to the f plasmid identically original to the f plasmid now the f plasmid contains information to synthesize pilum and other proteins so the old recipient cell is now the donor cell with the f plasmid and the ability to form pilum so the original donor cell like just the original donor. now you can see first it was f negative it got the the uh, dna single stranded dna in the form of a circular to the pilus and became f positive now both the donor and the recipient both are becoming f pos positive so this is the fertility factor positive the dna that is transferred in the bacterial conjugation is that present in the f plasmid when the donor cell is integrated with the f plasmid into its own chromosomal dna bacterial conjugation results and the trans due to transfer of the f negative plasmid or the chromosome dna now if there is no longer contact between the donor and the recipient the cell results in very large amount of chromosomal dna transfer so a longer contact is result in the larger amount of chromosomal dna transfer the donor f fertility of factor contains genetic material for genetic exchange that is called the male cell and the recipient of the f factor minus is called which has no fertility factor and which receives the genetic material is called the female cell the conjugate hfr or high frequency recombinant is the resulting genetic recombinant that is because the transfers the entire genetic dna which is mixed with f negative cells when it is mixed with f negative cells it will produce recombinant hfr then we have another way of genetic bacterial genetics that is transduction transduction is the transfer of bacterial genes by viruses the viruses bacteriophage can carry out the lytic cycle here the lytic cycle the host cell is destroyed or the viral dna integrates into the host genome by becoming a latent prophage it means that it has integrated in the host dna but is not destroying the host cell for reproduction there are two types of transduction one is genetic transduction then any part of the bacterial genome can be transferred and it occurs only during lytic phase of the virulent phase during viral assembly the fragments of host dna are mistakenly packaged into the dna into the bacteriophage head and thereby it is a generalized transduction pathway in which the bacteriophage has integrated the host bacterial dna into it Type, uh, uh, into its reproductive material. The second we have is a specialized transduction, which is carried out only by temperate phages that have established lysogeny. Lysogeny means where the where the, the lytic cycle has not taken place, place, and the bacterial has not burst out, and it still incorporated the. the viral dna in, inside it the bacteriophage inside it and is living and is healthy and it does not destroy so only a specific portion of bacterial genome is transferred and it occurs when the prophage is inside correctly excised so if in this condition it is formed we have transposome now another is transposome what are transposomes they are also called as transposomal elements they are segments of dna that move about the genome in a process called transposition they can be integrated into different sites in the chromosome sometimes they are also called as jumping chains so they are simple insertion sequences which can be inserted in between and they carry extra genes which are also called as composite transposome so the material has been taken from these references i hope you found the lecture interesting and we will continue later
thank you very much for the be uh, in the next week i'll be taking the part two of bacterial genetics which will include the transformation and genetic recombination thank you very much i thank you for your attention